Hey everyone, welcome to this latest Ultra Skiff instructional video. In this one, I want to talk about boat seat pedestal systems, and I'm going to try out some really cool ideas that I've had recently, and I think they're going to work great. Now most of you know by now that I like utilizing both the higher pedestal system for a butt seat and the lower one for just sitting in a chair. You've seen in my videos that my butt seat oh, just looks like this, you know, it's a, this is a pneumatic setup. This is all connected, the seat mounts connected to the, the thing. I got my, my rod holders hanging off the back here. Uh, these tend to be pretty expensive. They go from, this one was 75, but they go all the way up to like $125. And then for my chair, you know, got this, and I team it up with a 13 inch pedestal. Now, I, I use 11 sometimes, but most of the time I like the 13 inch pedestal. Now if I grab the tape measure, what I've learned is me, I'm about 5'9", and I love having this much. If you combine it's this, the spring-loaded seat mount, which are the most common seat mounts, they generally add about 2.5 inches, sometimes 3 inches, to the total length. And this is a 13-inch pedestal. So my total length right here is looking like about 15 and 5 8 inches total from the seat mount all the way to the bottom. So that's like my ideal height. Now for the butt seat, after years of testing, I've settled on this height right here. I use this pedestal and it's all the way compressed down. So if I measure from the seat mount of this all the way down, I'm getting 23 inches. So that's the perfect height for a butt seat for me, 23 inches. But what I noticed looking at that is that that's basically seven inches higher than that setup. So seven inches higher now, many times I've tried to simply put two regular seat posts together like this. That makes them, this particular one, 22 inches. If I'm using two 13s, 26 inches. But even if I use two 11s, it still comes up a little too high. So, I'm walking around the store and what do I see? Something I've seen a million times. It's this. This is just a pedestal. Now these are sort of like the economy version of a pedestal system because you can mount this right to a ultra skiff pedestal mount and you have a seat mount and they make these in varying lengths too so it's a great e economical thing if you don't want to spend the money on the whole pedestal system you could just buy one of these uh, but this is seven inches so what I realized was geez I can utilize this to just mount a butt seat to this and then have my seat mount connect to the bottom of this. As you all know, this is my favorite style of butt seat. I like this rounded front on it. This is without a doubt the most comfortable one. And on this one, I already have this bracket that I screwed into it. And we have an instructional video on how to do that on our website as well. Okay, so I've made a couple of these, and they definitely look cool, and I know they're going to work. So I can check the total length of this now, and we are at 23 inches. Perfect. So it's an exact replica of this. This one is just a little bit heavier now. A little bit. A little bit heavier than this one. But now, when I'm traveling in my car, I can just have this, which is a lot smaller. This, and my seat, and that's all I would need. So I'm using the same 13 inch pedestal on both my seat and on my casting stool. But I'm not done yet because looking at this one gave me a fantastic idea that I can use this little ledge here to build a different type of rod holder. Instead of having this one the hangover, how about something more sturdy that will guarantee the rods are going to be perfectly vertical and also give me the opportunity to expand to as many rods as I want. Of course talking about PVC, my best friend. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna make a six rod PVC rod holder, and I'm gonna do it to this one. So I'm gonna screw this old dog off. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my T, my number 10 drill bit here. Line this up the best we can. We're gonna drill through both the PVC and the pedestal. And there we go. Okay, now we grab a number 12 sheet metal screw here. Now we're gonna screw that into the hole we just drilled. Really nice. Again, looks great. Okay, now to reinforce this on here better, what I'm doing is I am going to drill through both of these and right through the PVC. I got my hole drilled out going right through the PVC here. This is a quarter inch drill bit that I used and now I'm going to grab a quarter inch bolt. It's got a hex head on it. I think that's going to be better because I know I'm not going to strip it in the future. And it's about one and a quarter inches in length. And I just slip that right through. Got a washer and a nylon lock nut here. Put that on. Okay, so this one bolted that through the bottom there, and now it's on there, super tight. No wiggle at all. So we're gonna go to a cross. I got a four inch piece here. You can be, it can be smaller. I don't think the rods have to be that far away from the guy, person sitting in the chair. So right now, this is where we would put our cross here, and then two T's. So we just need our connector pieces. These are two and three quarter inch pieces of one and a half inch thin wall PVC. Got our cement. And actually before I glue that on, I am going to make the actual trident. Got a couple connectors here. Okay. Now we take our T's. Always like to make sure these go on very straight. See how it pressed down? That's always the best way to do it quickly. And there we go. Got ourselves a nice trident made here. Looks good. So then this we're gonna glue on right here. So 
for our next row of rod holders here, we're going to start with a T because if we don't need another cross. I'm not going to do nine. I say that now. So we just need a connector. here twist that make it straight works really nice so to go six all I need now is to make another trident and have it go right there Nice. Okay, now I'm going to put some extensions on these. Extension, extension, uh, four inch pieces. And there we go, a six rod rack. Okay, so that about wraps it up. Now I have six rod holders on a nice sturdy PVC system here that I just built. Um, a lot of these components I did not glue. I'm guessing I will have to glue them, but first I like to go out and test it out. And right up here in the top left of the screen is gonna be the result of whether or not you have to leave it all glued or not. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on our website at www.ultraskiff.com. And always, until next time, everyone, tight lines.